In this video, we're going to begin taking a look at the solution of algebraic equations. When we say a solution to an equation, it is the value for the variable that makes some equation a true equation. We're not going to find that value here. Instead, we're going to verify that the value given to us is or is not the solution to an equation. So we need to test the solution, and the way we test a possible solution is we will replace the variable with the value that it represents. Let me show you an example. Here we want to know if x equals negative 4 is the solution to the equation 5x plus 15 equals negative 5. The way we can test this is we're going to replace the x with the value it represents. So now we have 5x, which is being replaced with negative 4, always in parentheses to show that it's still multiplied, plus 15, and we want to know, does it really equal negative 5? Well, this is just order of operations to check it. We know we have to multiply first, because the 5 is next to the x and next to the parentheses, means multiply. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, plus 15, and we want to know, does that really equal negative 5? Well, if we do the addition, different signs, so we say which is bigger, the negative is bigger, and when we subtract 20 minus 5, we get 5, and sure enough, it does equal negative 5 like we wanted. It checks out, so we would say yes. x equals negative 4 is the solution to 5x plus 15 equals negative 5. In other words, negative 4 is the value that makes this equation a true equation. It is, in fact, the only number you can plug in for x that makes it into a true equation. No other number works. Let's take a look at another example. This next problem is a little more involved. We want to know, is a equals 3 the solution to the equation 4a minus 18 equals 2a? Here, there's an a on the left side of the equation, and there's an a on the right side of the equation. But the pattern is still the same. To test if this is the solution, we can replace the variable with that number. So we have 4a, where a is 3, minus 18, and we want to know, does it really equal 2a? Well, a is 3. And what we have is two order of operations problem, one on the left of the equation and one on the right of the equation. On the left side of the equation, we'll multiply first. 4 times 3 is 12, minus 18. And on the right side of the equation, we can also multiply. 2 times 3 is 6, and we want to know, are those really equal? Well, if we do the subtraction on the left side by adding the opposite, we see that the negative is bigger, and when we subtract 18 minus 12, we get 6. Is negative 6 equal to 6? No, it's not. They are not equal. Because they are not the same, we say no. a equals 3 is not the solution to this equation, because if we replace the variable with 3, it did not make it into a true equation. It made it into something that doesn't make sense. Negative 6 is not equal. It's not the same as positive 6. This begins to introduce a concept that's going to become very interesting to us as we study in pre-algebra and even more in algebra, is how do we find the correct solution to an equation? How do we find the correct number for the variable that makes the equation true? We'll start to see some more on that in future videos, but for now, this is how we can verify, is this solution given to us the correct solution? Replace the variable with that number, maybe in several places, and work it out. Do we get a true equation? If we get a true equation, yes, it is the solution. If we don't, then no, it is not the solution.